Hello, boys and girls. It is time for Wooldridge. Wooldridge's weekly read aloud week six around and in. This week we are going to be reading a story called ABC Animal Jamboree by Giles Andre, illustrated by David Wojcicki. Not really sure how to say his last name, boys and girls. It has lots of lots of consonants in it. <clears throat> Animal Jamboree. Thumbs up for the title page. A. Angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling. The prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. B. Boa constrictor. The boa constrictor's a slippery snake who squashes then swallows his prey. He knows that it's not very friendly or kind, but they do taste much nicer that way. C. Crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping a few. That crocodile does not sound very nice. D. Dolphin. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them try to speak. It's not, how do you do? As I'd say to you, it's more of a click whistle, squeak. E. Elephant. It's great to be an elephant all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle, just elfing around. F. Frog. We may be green and slimy, but I'm sure that you'll agree we're really great at hopping. Can you hop as high as me? G. Giraffe. Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I don't really care when my head is in the air and my cheeks getting kissed by a cloud. H. Hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun till I'm hot, and when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which hippos like doing a lot. I, iguana. We are both green iguanas. Our bodies are covered with scales. We've also got really cool spines down our backs that run into the ends of our tails. J. Jellyfish. The jellyfish just loves to jiggle, which other fish think is quite dumb. She knows that it's not all that useful, but jiggling's lots of good fun. K. Kangaroo. I'm the bouncy kangaroo. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? And who's inside my pouch? That's right, it's baby Joey holding tight. L. Lion. The lion's the king of the jungle who quietly sits on his paws, but everyone quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. M. Monkey. 
It's great to be a monkey swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we'll munch each other's fleas. N. Narwhal. The narwhal has a horn-like tusk, and so he seems to be the ocean's swimming unicorn, a marvel of the sea. O. Octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. P. Penguin. We waddle around on our icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splash off the side. Q. Quetzal. My feathers, my tail feathers shimmer in glorious green and look at my splendid red chest. Of all the most beautiful birds that you've seen, you must admit I am the best. R. Rhinoceros. The ravenous rhino is big, strong, and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch, and that makes him terribly happy. S. Shark. I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide? Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. T. Tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near, but his eyes shine like lights in the blackest of nights, and his growl makes you tremble with fear. You, umbrella bird. My head has a crest of black feathers, so when I look up at the sky and see that it's raining, instead of complaining, I just spread them out and keep dry. V. Vulture. See me soaring gracefully across the clear blue sky, looking out for tasty treats that catch my beady eye. W. Whale. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. X. X-ray fish. We like to swim around in shoals, and any food will do us. Oh yes, we're called the x-ray fish, as you can see right through us. Why? Yak. We live up in the mountains where the land is cold and bare. So to keep us warm and cozy, we grow thick, long, shaggy hair. Z. Zebra. I could have been gray like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule. But instead, I got stripes, which my lady friend likes, since they make me look handsome and cool. <laughs> the end. Thank you for reading with me, boys and girls. I will look forward to reading with you again next week.